Good morning and welcome to Bookmas Day 4. Today, <coughs> I'm still going strong with this cold, so I thought I would join you in my Dash Hound Through the Snow Christmassy pyjamas. So the video that I've got for you today is 10 authors I need to try before I buy more. I am, as you know, a massive charity shop fan. And while that works in my favour a lot of the time, I have amassed a massive TBR that doesn't seem to be going down anytime soon. Um, one of the things I've been guilty of is finding an author that either has really pretty books or I've heard a lot about from Booktube and collecting their books before I've even read them. So for 2020, one of the rules that I'm going to make is that I can only buy authors that I've not read before or that are part or I have read and have enjoyed. So these collections that I have amassed, I have to read at least one book from these authors before I purchase any more from them, if that makes sense. It's still quite early in the morning when I'm filming this. So the first author is Cecilia Ahern, and I have three books from her. I have P.S. I Love You, I have A Place Called Here, and I have Raw. Now, um, both of these books I actually bought because I was in charity shops where I needed a kind of third one or fourth one to make up the deal. Um, but this one I picked up because I'd heard a lot about it. And I haven't touched any of these yet. So, I, I well, actually, no, that's a lie. I started reading P.S. I Love You and I cried ugly tears on the first few pages and put it down. So, Cecilia Ahern is one of the authors that I need to try. The next author, I've come into these books quite recently, actually. Um, and that's Sarah Barnard. Or ben Barnard? Yeah, I think. I've got three. I've got Goodbye Perfect. I've got A Quiet Kind of Thunder, and I've got Beautiful Broken Things. Now, one of these, where is it? Yeah, this one, I actually won from the author's Twitter, so it is signed. So even if I didn't like this, I would be keeping that. And then the other two I got in book swaps, and they just have such gorgeous covers look. So I need to read those. Um... As I'm going through this, if there's any books that you want to buddy read with me, please let me know because that will really help me to read them. And also if there's any that you love, let me know which ones I need to pick up. The next author I have amassed five books from is Jenny Colgan. Now, I did read Jenny Colgan when I was younger. Um, this is going back. I'm sure I was at Birmingham Airport and I picked up probably Glamour magazine and it had a book free with it and I read it on holiday and I remember at the time I must have been about 15 and some of the themes in it were probably a bit too grown up oh, I can't remember what the book's called so all I remember is it was like um two teams um on an away day and they were paintballing and something happens and I think the guy is called like Stig or Spig or something if anybody knows what that book is let me know because I have read that anyway I have picked up these five books now although these three are Christmassy I've since found out that they're sequels so I'm not going to be picking them up this month um but I have Christmas at Little Beach Street Bakery I have The Christmas Surprise I have Christmas at Rosie Hopkins Sweet Shop. I have The Endless Beach and Do You Remember the First Time? So I need to read those. Right, the next set of books are definitely cover buys. Let me see if I can, yeah, that's the one that I bought first. So the next author is Lucy Diamond. And I picked up this book because it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I think before this year, I used to read when I was younger and I'd really fallen out of reading for the last few years. So this year has been really about amassing a lot of books without really meaning to. Um, and then I'm hoping that 2020 is the year that I'm going to really hone what I enjoy. Like I accept a lot of books for blog tours. Oh, it's tomorrow. That's OK. Um, I, a lot for blog tours and I need to kind of hone 
which books it is that I really like. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. But yeah, so I have four Lucy Diamond books. I have On a Beautiful Day. I have The Year of Taking Chances, which I think it says A New Star, A Dream Career, The Love of Your Life. And I think that might be an amazing one to pick up on New Year's Day. I also have The Secrets of Happiness and One Night in Italy, both of which I got from a book swap. And they are just gorgeous books, but I don't want to just have a shelf full of gorgeous books that I either don't read or don't enjoy reading, because that's just silly. Um, the next author, I only have two books here to show you, but I have two more on their way from a bookshop. And that is Giovanna Fletcher. Again, total cover buys. Um, so I've got these two here. And I think I've got Billy and Me and Dream a Little Dream come in. And I have Some Kind of Wonderful and Always with Love. I think when I started this video, I thought it was going to be more exciting than it is. So I hope you're enjoying it. Um, the next author... I have six books from this author. Do I? I thought I only had five, but yeah, I have six. And that is Carol Matthews. Now, I saw her on Phoebe and Me's channel, P and Me, Phoebe and Me. And I have All You Need Is Love, Paper Hearts and Summer Kisses, A Compromising Position, A Whiff of a Scandal, It's a Kind of Magic, and Christmas Cakes and Mistletoe Nights. Now, I did start reading... Christmas Cakes and Mistletoe Nights yesterday and didn't find myself loving it. I loved the writing style though, but I just couldn't click with the characters. And then I found out that it's a sequel, so maybe if I read the original, I'll like them a bit more. Who knows? So they've all been kind of chick flicky type authors. So the next one that I have for you is a bit different, and that is Karen Slaughter. Um, I actually did have three Karen Slaughter books, but I swapped Pretty Girls because it was in one of those massive, um, you know, the ones that you get at the airport that are like a massive paperback. And yeah, I paid 10p for it and somebody was really desperate for it in one of my book swap groups. So I swapped it. But I still have Cop Town and The Good Daughter. Again, I need to find out if these are part of a series or if they're just ones to read alone. But I've heard that these are really gory, so I really want to give them a go. The next author, again, I blame my book swap group for this because there's always someone looking for these books in there. And that is Heidi Swain. So I have Heidi Swain, Sleigh Rides and Silver Bells at the Christmas Fair. Poppy's Recipe for Life and Coming Home to Cuckoo Cottage. I am going to try and pick up the Christmas one this month. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, my two favourite, well, three favourite genres. I like YA, I like contemporary, romancy, chick litty stuff, and I like thrillers. So, the next author I have four books from, and that is C.L. Taylor. I am, this is the one that I'm going to read next, Sleep, because I've heard so much about it. I just have so many books to review at the moment that this is, I'm itching to get into this. Um, I also have The Missing, The Treatment and The Accident. So I don't know whether for January to have my TBR as any of these books, any that I've got a Christmas one I'm going to get to in December, but I don't know whether just to put a January TBR of one of each of these authors, but I really do need your help picking which one from each author, so please leave the comments down below. And the last author that I have is Paige Toon, and I have If You Could Go Anywhere, Lucy in the Sky and One Perfect Christmas. So they are the 10 authors that I need to read before I buy any more of their books. Um, I'm also going to be doing No Spend in January, so that should be interesting. Let me know if there's any of these books that you have read and enjoyed, and also if there's any that you'd like to buddy read with me, because as I said, buddy reading will get me to read them. Hope you have a cracking day tomorrow. Um, what day are we on now? I think Thursday? Yeah. So I don't know what my video will be tomorrow, but then Saturday will be my very first weekly vlog. And I'm pretty nervous, to be honest. Um, I've really enjoyed filming it and editing it 
editing it but I'm just nervous to see how it goes down with you guys so I hope you enjoy it and until tomorrow look after yourselves bye